part two of the scan series. So we're setting up a bunch of different scans. <clears throat> the one we just set up is the high IVP. And the way you can load it is you can go over here in your scan. So we're back in scan tab, stock hacker. Go over here to this little button to the right of the flame, scan query menu. You can go to load scan query, personal. And as you can see, there's only one personal. I deleted all of my personal scans prior to this video uh, for the sake of you know, really showing you how to do this from the ground up. And um, you can just click on high IVP and it will load everything that we just did for that high IVP scan query. Now, <clears throat> we're going to kind of work off of this one. Um, so, you know, it makes sense to load this one up first and then we'll rename it. So the only thing we really want to do here is kind of make it a little bit more intriguing. Um, say, for example, you know, so, so this list has high you know, implied volatility above 50 and volume 50,000 minimum, stock price minimum of 10 bucks. Uh, but what if we also want to put in a minimum requirement for what the vol index is? Vol index is basically the same thing as implied volatility. So the difference between the implied volatility and the vol index is simply the implied volatility is a measurement of where the implied volatility currently is in relation to its 52-week range, whereas the vol index is what that actual implied volatility is. So let's say, for example, something like SPY. Um, let me just pull up the chart. So you can see down here in SPY, we've had uh, situations where the implied volatility has been as low as around 11 and as high as around 22. Currently, it's at around 14. So where does 14 reside in the, in the from IV percentile perspective? Well, it's up here, 33. So the IV percentile is 33. 14 represents the IV percentile of 33, where the actual vol index or I implied volatility is uh, 14. So vol index and implied volatility are loosely the same thing. It's not exactly the same thing, not exactly the same calculation, but it's very close. So all you have to do is add stock filter, go over here to vol index, and let's say we want to put a minimum of 30 and we'll just leave max as is. So just leave max blank. Everything else is going to stay the same. So we've got scan in all optionable. Uh, we've got stock last price, one minimum of 10, one minimum volume of 500,000. Uh, the only thing we've added is a minimum vol index of 30%. So basically we're saying we want to weed out the low implied volatility stocks. So we want, we, we not only want high view percentile, we also want a little bit of the more juicy uh, names. So we want to weed out stuff like AT&T that even when it's at a high IV percentile, it may not be providing any good you know, option premium opportunity. So very simple. And let's, uh, to, to save this, since we did it the, the other way, um, to save this, you simply go up here and you click Save Scan Query, and then you rename it. So we're going to call this one High IVP. Um, plus high IV. Okay, so that's it for that. Very simple, just a small addition. We're kind of building up a few high implied volatility filters here. Then we're going to build up a few low implied volatility filters, and then that'll be the end of this uh, series of videos.